it is about freedom, the freedom that we have that God has given us. And as I was, I was talking to a friend of mine about about this freedom that we have, and the the question was like, how come God trusts us so much with this freedom? You know, it's it seems like it seems it seems odd that we are have been trusted with with this freedom to choose. You know, I would think we we should be trusted with the, with this much freedom. And if you look at the history of the world in general. That that question is actually true, you know. The the history of the world has proven that that the the freedom that we're given, we we have misused it, in to to choose evil in general, in general. However, love demands can demand nothing less than freedom because it is the only way, and I want to be clear on this. It is the only way that. God can select those who really love him. In other words, by giving us a freedom of choice, it will reveal the desires of our heart. It will really, it's the only way where if we're not supervised, if we're not told, if we're not coerced into anything, which way are we going to go? Are we going to, to choose the side of love, compassion, or are we going to choose the side of uh, uh, coercion and just basically self-indulgence, you know, selfishness, you know, and this, and these are the two paths. And, th- and the reason why we are in the situation that we're in now is because those freedoms are being exercised in a way. It's not that God is not power, powerless. It's, it, I'm sorry. It's, it's powerless to prevent this, these things. It is to allow people to make their choice. And it allow them to, to see exactly where they're going to go on their own, right? To see whether or not they're going to really choose the true God or choose the false God. And by the way, everyone who is going to end up on either side, whether if, if you're going to end up in heaven or you go end up in hell, right? Everyone who gets there, they're going to be there by choice. Because they would have chosen, you know, those who would have chosen the, 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 the side of the mark of the beast, whatever you want to call it, they did so because that's what they preferred over the government of love, over the government of God, because they chose, somehow they chose that they preferred that over what God offers. And, and, the, and, the, way, and the way that the, 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 the path that God offers is very narrow and very straight. Right, he says that that's why few few will 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 get on there because it doesn't fit, you know their their idea, you know. So again, it is all about, in, in my opinion, it's like this is the way, this is the only way that things can go, you know, given the freedoms, the freedom of choice that that God allows. Because in, God needs to have, when, when it's all said and done, God needs to have a people who, ha, who has said yes to him in spite of all the stuff that's, that's going on, right? In spite of ev- all the difficulties, who has said yes to him, because then those can be trusted to continue to be with him in eternity when everything is easy. Yeah. I think that that's, that's just a mind-blowing realization. So although we naturally are inclined to go on the on the side of Satan, like on the side of selfishness, naturally we're inclined to do this, right? But when we encounter Christ, when we encounter Jesus, he's able to change all of that and see, hey, there's a better way. And if once we commit to that better way and we make our choices and decide that way, right? Even with the challenges that we have in this life and all the things that are going against that, uh, if we remain solid on that decision and we don't waver from that, then God is able to say, okay, you were a, you have demonstrated it in here. I gave you that freedom and you chose me, right? In spite of that, then I know that in eternity you can continue and, and be with me. And this, evil cycle thing will never happen again. So that that's just a little glimpse of that. And I think that that's, 
that's the, the safety and security for us, you know. Even those who decide to choose the other side or whatever, like that's their choice, that's their right, and that's their freedom, right? Uh, we're not to like diss them, disrespect them, or anything like that. Okay, that that's just that's just what they what they chose, and unfortunately for them, they're gonna meet their end. But for the rest of us, as we continue to endure. This this earth, all this stuff that we see here is gonna go eventually. Uh, but it is because we know and we see that the goodness of God, He's that good. If we don't receive a single thing again from God anymore, He has done everything, and that is He has paid our price, the price for our sins, and He does if He does nothing else for us, that is plenty enough I, already for us. If we we realize that, then we'll know who our God is, who who, uh, who we are in Him, and how valuable we are, and how we can align ourselves, you know, according to 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 His will. That it isn't about you know the things that happen to us in this world, or what He can do for us necessarily in that in that sense. Of course, He can He can deliver us, He can save us, He can you know bless us and all these things. But if he doesn't do any of those things, he's still good enough uh, for us to, to, to be with and worship.